Steinbeck just released Spectra Layers 8 and in this video I'll mainly focus on the new functions so you know if it's worth the upgrade. Hi, I'm Marlon. In short, Spectra Layers is a spectral editing tool where you use a Photoshop-like workflow to edit frequencies and do sound tweaking like de-reverb, de-noise and vocal and instrument extraction. Overall, Spectral Layers 8 works like Spectral Layers 7. Watch my video on that after you have watched this video. In version 8, there are some interesting new functions. And for me, it seems like Spectral Layers has included upgrades to accommodate the needs for those who work in post production, which of course also is great when you work mostly with music. Let's go over the new features. Spectral Layers now includes EQ Match. This is handy when you have done a few recordings with different mics and you need to adjust them. I will adjust the sound of this Rode Video Mic Go with this Rode NT1 and I will repeat this clip over and over. Enable Spectral Layers on both tracks and select the layer you want it to be EQ matched to. Select EQ Match and press Register EQ. Select the layer you want to be EQ matched, in this case the Video Mic Go layer, and press EQ match. Now it will sound like this. Rode Video Mic Go with this Rode NT1 and I will adjust the sound of this Rode Video Mic Go with this Rode NT1. This is the NT1. I will adjust the sound of this Rode Video Mic Go with this and this is the video mic. Hit this clip over and over. I will adjust the sound of this Rode As you can hear it sounds frequency wise the same. The video mic is more compressed and this is probably due to the camera mic preamp this was recorded on but the sound is the same. This is before the EQ match. I will adjust the sound of this Rode Video Mic Go with this Rode NT1. And this is after. Adjust the sound of this Rode Video Mic Go with this Rode NT1 and I will repeat this clip over and over. De-bleed. This one will enable you to reduce bleed like cymbal bleed from drums. You need to make sure you have a source track and the track you want to work on both opened in spectral layers. Select the part and try out some settings. I found that 100% usually gives a lot of artifacts. But 50% nicely reduces the symbols in this floor tom track. This will make mixing easier and also helps any gating you want to do later. Ambient match is not meant to replace one reverb with another reverb but to provide a background ambience to another sound clip so they match better in ambience. This is handy if you have a recording in post-production which does not match up in ambience. Let's take this clip. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. And let's apply the ambience of this clip to the next clip. A little change in weather and let's see uh, how this performs. Select a piece of the ambient sound and press register ambience. Then go to the audio you want to match. Make sure you have the right track selected and press match ambience. Now this clip has the ambience of the first clip copied onto it. Please remember to A little change in This is now printed into the audio file. If you need more flexibility, you can add a new layer here, select this new layer and press ambience match. This will add the ambience on this separate layer and if you go to standard layout, you can easily adjust the volume. A little change in weather and let's see. A little change. Another way is if you have a pretty much empty audio track, you can ambience match to that empty track as well. 
which you then can adjust in Cubase or Nuendo however you want. A little change in weather and let's see uh, how this performs. A little change in weather and let's see uh, how this performs. Now, for some reason, the ambience match track is stereo, stereo widened. As you can hear, the original ambience was mono, and this is stereo. Please remember. This is easily adjusted by turning down the sides with a plugin so it fits. But I find this peculiar. Of course, manually copy pasting ambience is always an option, but Spectral Layers does this in a very quick and smooth way. With the new Select Harmonics, you can now easily select a note and its harmonics. Take for instance this guitar note on the left channel. If I select it, I can for instance easily delete it. Or copy paste it in later. This is very flexible and musical. Spectral Layers 8 has done some improvements on existing features, like the voice denoiser. Let's use the outside clip again to see how it removes the machine noise. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. It actually does a great job considering how extreme the noise is. And it does this without the need of registering the noise. After denoising, I would go in and fix these small parts as well. Please remember to subscribe. Remember. To Please remember to Please remember to subscribe to the Please remember to subscribe to this channel. This is before. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. And this is after. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. The reverb reduction has also been improved and let's see how much reverb we can remove with this recording. The reverb reduction has also been improved and let's see how has also been improved and let's see how much reverb we can remove with this recording. Has also been improved and let's see how much reverb we can remove with this recording. Has also been improved and let's see how much reverb we can remove with this recording. As you can hear, the reverb gets less, and with these settings, there's also some artifacts and aliasing happening. Here's before. The reverb reduction has also been improved, and let's see how much reverb and after. Reduction has also been improved, and let's see how much reverb. If I back off the settings a bit, the results will be more natural. Installing Spectral Layers 8 is a breeze. And I found out after mailing the developer that if you use the latest versions of Cubase and Nuendo that Spectral Layers 1 version 8 is free for you. The basic workflow hasn't changed since version 7 so I recommend you watch my video on Spectral Layers 7 which is displayed on screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you in the next one.